Hey everyone, welcome to the show. What do you say we get started? Wish I had a little backbeat to get get this show started right. Hey Charlie, you got anything? Awesome. Thanks, man. Now I need some words. I guess we're walking. Yeah, 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 we're walking. That's right, we're walking in the hall. Walking in the hall, walking in the hall. Gonna find out about someone new today. Finding out something about that friend. Gonna learn something new today. Here at Weston. Weston Elementary, Weston Elementary. Gonna find out about someone new. Each and every episode. All right, Charlie, that was pretty good. Let's get the show started. All right. Hello, Eagle Nation. It's your elementary principal, Mr. Meyer, back with another episode of Walking the Halls with the Principal. I hope you enjoyed our new theme song. And I'm looking for more ideas to uh, start the show. So if you're creative, and you're from Weston or the Weston community and, and our musical and would like to help me with a new theme song, uh, just let me know, send me an email or a shout out on Facebook. And by the way, if you can, please make sure you're sharing our episodes with others who might enjoy our episodes. So I'm super excited about this week's episode because I'm gonna really learn a lot from her. Uh, she is uh, in our ag department and she has um, done some very cool things that I have um, observed and I want to know more about and I hope that you will too. Uh, her name is Mrs. Randy Osborne and she is the teacher of the agriculture department here at Weston and she does much more than that but we'll, we'll find out so let's get to know all about Randy Osborne. Hello Randy. Morning. Thanks for joining me on uh, this episode. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to change the format just a little bit this week because um, I've heard some amazing things about the Ag Department and I'd like to highlight all of them if I can. So, But before we do that, you want to tell uh, the people out in uh, Weston Nation, uh, Eagle Nation, a little bit about how you came to, to uh, be a teacher here at Weston. Okay. Um, well, I graduated from Weston quite a few years ago. And um, then we I went off to college to River Falls and I went into egg education. But when I got up there, I found out I was so extremely shy that I couldn't handle getting up talking in front of people my own age. So I went and got a Bachelor of Science in Animal Science. And then came home, farmed for a lot of years. Um, then my husband and I decided to try something different. And I worked at seats for a five months and then I was offered a job in a biotech company that was um, in operation by Hill Point. And I went there and we were making transgenic animals. So the company was making, um, they would take embryos and insert DNA into the embryos so that when they grew up they would produce proteins in the mouth that could be used for vaccinations. Wow. And uh, Hold on. That, okay. That, boom. That, Let's stop and talk a little bit about that. Um, so uh, you're saying that the work that you've done there, uh, how did they apply that then? Did they, was that used then to help with vaccinations? Is that what you're saying? Yes, when I was, when I was there, we had um, several proteins of interest uh -huh. for vaccinations. One of them was hepatitis B. That's the only one I can talk about. Sure. Um, we actually got it through to my studies. Okay. And then I left there to, to do other things because they found out um, the whether well, it was a good idea to do the transgenic cattle, it was really costly. Okay. And there were people out east doing it with goats. And so the company I was working for decided to let them um, go through all the FDA stuff. Yeah. Wow. So, so they, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Pretty... It was really interesting. Wow. Very do, you, interesting. do you ever talk about that to the to our students and, and some of the things that you've done? Uh, yes. Prior, yeah, but they really have um, um, they, gained a lot of knowledge that, from you. Um, I have, um, I, when I started teaching A, I um, started a biotech company, or not company, um, class. Okay. So we actually do um, electrophoresis and 
looking at DNA and all sorts of things like we used to do cool. in the biotech company. So tell us, uh, you just mentioned the class. So tell us, uh, for those who don't know, all of the classes that you teach here at Weston, what are the classes that you teach here? What are the names of the classes so that there's like 20 know. of them do you want all of them let's let's hear that as many as you can rattle off remember. as many as you can rattle off okay so there's the biotech class yeah um fish and wildlife uh, wildlife and wilderness survival forestry plant science soil science animal science animal health um i teach careers now but and um oh there's there's a lot of more a lot more well and then you have a face mask that says ffa so in yeah, addition we do FFA. in addition to your classes do you want to talk a little bit about ffa yeah so ffa is a really great leadership organization for kids that are focuses around agriculture it's it's actually chartered by the nation it's the only leadership youth leadership organization chartered in the nation and um, there's a lot of opportunities for to develop leadership skills and career skills and it's just plain fun yeah you get a lot of different experiences and uh, how many students here at Weston currently uh, would you say are involved actively in the FFA um actively not as many as I would like okay. actually every kid in my class gets to be an FFA member okay so last year we had 91 members uh, this year because of different scheduling things I, I've got several careers classes that don't qualify to be yeah. these kids don't yeah get to be members but sure well that's a very high percentage of all of our students right that's what, yeah that's that's fantastic you're, you're reaching a lot of students um but you know i've also heard some some things about you that you're kind of like a ma magician in your, in what you do in other words you you bring the magic into the classroom mm -hmm. and you really get the kids going would you uh and one of the things i've heard is that you um started uh and, and have a wonderful sheep barn, which is amazing. I mean, when I came to Weston and I saw that we had a sheep barn, I, I again, my mind was blown and I was amazed. So, um, you wanna be a magician and take us to the sheep barn? Sure. All right, one, two, three. Whoa, <laughs> you are a magician, that's amazing. Hey, uh, so we're outside the sheep barn here at Weston. Uh, do you wanna tell me a little bit about um, how it came to be that we have a sheep barn? Sure. What's the history? So my second year teaching, um, that would be egg. it was 2012, 2013, I had an animal science class and I asked a neighbor, well actually Terry Smelter, he was a former school board member, if we could borrow a calf and it was a Jersey calf and he was really cute and the kids really liked him and um, we were able to have the vet come out and do things with him like um, do a physical exam and all those types of things. So the kids really liked that and they said, you know what? We should come up with some kind of project to have more animals on the school grounds. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. So we did, gave them a research project. And at the time, um, dairy sheep were getting pretty big in Northwestern Wisconsin. So we went up, took a field trip, went to Barron and, no, sorry, went to Spooner at, to the UW Research Center up there because they had dairy sheep. Yeah. And we visited a couple places, one by Barron, and um, we just found out about sheep. And then we stopped at this place that milked dairy sheep, and then they made gelato with the milk. Gelato? Yeah. Whoa. And so the kids were like, this is what we want to yes. do. Okay, so it was sort of driven by the, uh, that process of you bringing the kids and, and, and having that conversation. But let's go take a look at the sheep. Sure. Want to tell me a little bit about who we, who we have here? And how many sheep are we, are we? Well, um, we have 10, 10 ewes right now. Okay. And they're probably afraid of the camera. Sure. But, um, Ella, who ran off first, she's the oldest one. And then we, we kept one young lamb from last year and that's Clementine. So okay. anyway, we have 10 ewes and each year we breed them so that they lamb in about January or February. Okay. And then we um, milk them. We'll look at the milking stand in a minute. Okay. And then we make sheep milk soap out of it. Sheep milk soap. Soap. Yep. Okay. So that wow. was that was that business was started by an egg business class I had. Okay. And um, 
Yeah, that's been, it's really been successful. We sold a lot of buyers of soap. Yeah. Probably like 1,700 buyers of soap. Where, where can people, uh, do you still do that? Or We do. Yeah, where can people find the bars of soap if they wanted um, to, to get involved with that or to help support? Um, well, we had know. some down at John Salt, Salt Weedles. Okay. And, Another shout out to John. Yep. All right. And then um, there's also some down at Arneson's. Arneson's. Okay, check it out. Always at school. Okay. And then you can request it on our Emily and Miss Ba Facebook page. Ooh, all right. Emily and Miss Ba were our first two yous that, that we got. The... Okay, all right. We'll try to put that on the screen here. Okay. Emily and Ba. Miss Ba. Miss Ba. Emily and Miss Ba. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. And and so you, I'm hearing some names. You Did you name them all? Does they that... all have names, yes. Oh, what are their names? We have to, we have to learn. Um, that's, this is Clementine. Where's Clement? Hi, Clementine. And the one looking at us is Ella. Ella. And then there's, um, uh, oh gee. There's a lot of them. There's, there's 10 of them. Uh-huh. Esme is one. Okay. Bliss. And Aurora. And are the, do the kids name them Barb. or did you name them or how did the that come? The kids name them. Okay, very nice. Oh, nice. And they look a lot alike, so there's only a few that I can really pick out without looking at sure. their numbers, but. All right. Well, I'm gonna get a closer view of them for the for the people at home, and uh, maybe I can swing around and get the inside of the of the sheep barn itself. It looks like they're gonna walk away from me like they don't like me, but I think I think it's pretty great that we have so many amazing things going on here at Weston. So, so you said that uh, we make gelato from their milk. We will be making we, gelato. We will be making. Um, yep. You wanna you wanna take me inside and show me how that works, or where or the uh, the next phase of this um, mission and vision that you have? Should we? I'd wanna... like to show you the milking setup. Oh, let's find out the milking setup. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do that. Ready? Whoa! So where are we right now? We are in the milk house. Okay, the milk house. Let's, so let's do a 360 real quick. We're in the milk house. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will be getting a grade B license to to. Well, we aren't selling our milk, but to use our milk okay. in the, the dairy processing plant. Okay. And um, I want to mention, too, that this barn was designed by that first animal science class. So they each came up with a design. They got together and collaborated. And this barn is exactly what those kids came up with. Wow. Nice job, kids. Yeah. So that was about 14 years ago or a little less than that? Seven. Seven years ago. Okay great it's holding up very well it looks mm -hmm. like too wonderful yep so this is this is where we will filter the milk and watch up the milk pail and all that kind of okay. stuff we have a portable milker which is up, up in my classroom okay where it's safe for now so right. wonderful if you want to yeah let's check this, this out place. Absolutely. Let's go where are we now this is the milking parlor. Okay, so explain to the non-farmers of the world uh, how this works. So we have, this pulls, because it's a tight space, we had to kind of be creative here. Yeah. This bottom platform pulls out. Okay. And then we have a ramp that comes up. And then this gate opens up. And the sheep can go up there, put their heads in the head blocks. And then we melt them from behind. Okay. And then when they're done, they go out that door back into their pen. All right. So how much milk does one sheep, one you generally um, give us, would you say? About a quart. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. How often do they have to be milked? Twice a day. Twice a day. Okay. See, I'm learning new things. I love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is amazing. And is there some uh, yeah, so things, more things back here? Just here. Let's check this out. This is where they live. All right. They look very happy. Yeah. So all this, this hay that we've got here is um, from a field here at school. Okay. So we planted the field yeah. and made the hay for the sheep. Okay. And do the kids help out in any of that process as well? Or yeah. That, this, okay. summer, this summer was the first time we did small bales. Okay. And so Allie Gilmore and Laura Hens came up to help. Thank you, ladies. That was great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Where are you taking me next? Let's go up to the dairy processing plant. All right, let's do it. Ready? Oh, whoa. Huh. Where are we? Where are we now, Randy? This is by February going to be our dairy plant. Our dairy plant. So 
by February, so this is the goal. Mm -hmm. And so it's in progress and it's under construction right now. Correct. But um, in the end, what's what will be the, what will this be used for and who will be involved with it? So I'm gonna start a class next year. I didn't think of it for this year. Uh -huh. And it's gonna be a dairy processing class. And that class will be responsible for pasteurizing the milk and for making the gelato. Okay, cool. So can we take a look? I know people just keep in mind, it's a work in progress and you come back in February and it'll, it'll look way different. Right. All right, let's do one walk, walk on in and I'll follow. All right. All right, so tell us what we have going on in here. All right, so to be, um, this dairy plant is going to be licensed by the state of Wisconsin. Okay. So we have to follow all their regulations and sure. guidelines. So yes. we, this is the latest thing that we've done and why it's such a mess. Sure. We had to put this smooth covering on this wall. Uh -huh. And this is a new wall for dividing the, this kitchen in half. Okay. Um, actually, starting Monday, they're gonna come in and take all these tile off the okay. floor. Okay. And um, then on Thursday and Friday, they're gonna put an epoxy floor on. Nice. Which meets the state regulations. Okay, nice. And over here, what do we have going on over here? Well, this sink is going to stay. We're going to use that. Okay. Um, we have to put a foot-operated hand sink over on this over side. Here. Okay. Over here. Yeah. All right. And so this will be just a wash-up place. It's worked out really great because mm -hmm. you need three sinks yep. for washing up, and there are already three sinks here. Nice. On this side, we're going to have um, two or three stainless steel tables mm -hmm. to set the pasteurizer on and the gelato machine on. Nice. And then we have to have a refrigerator in here. Okay. Um, and I see that this is also connected on one side to the gym. Is there going to be any connection to that for there, like yeah. basketball games or anything like that? There cannot be. So okay. when this room right. gets done, okay. only the kids that are approved to be in here can be in here. Okay. So that's why we have this big observation window. So oh. if people want to see what's going on, they can look in the, the observation window. Okay. Wow. This is pretty, pretty impressive. Um, is there anything else you wanted to share with us today or, or take us to that you'd like to highlight? Um, how about the fish room? The fish room. Let's go to the fish room. Ready? Whoa. I love this. Don't be grumpy. Our school is fun. Where are we right now, Randy? We're in our fish room. Fish room. I have an aquaculture class and we have a recirculating fish tank. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you can see in here, but we have some tilapia. Okay. This is kind of fun. Oh, look at that. They love that. Oh, awesome. So this is one of the classes that kids in high school can take. Okay. Um, you learn about water quality and breeds of fish, um, how to take care of them. And we actually do taxidermy. Taxidermy? Wow. Mm -hmm cover it all. That's amazing. So how long have we had the fish room here at Weston? Um, as long as you can work? Well, we used to have an FFA alumni. Okay. So probably back in 2005 or six, this was okay. purchased through the FFA alumni. So nice. it's been here a while. Okay. Over here, um, we're going to have it's a, the aquaponics. Yes. So we're going to be growing lettuce with the fish water. Wonderful. The class isn't until second semester, so that's why it's not set up yet. Okay. You're going to let the uh, principal and other other people uh, use the lettuce for their uh, hamburgers? Yeah, we take it to the, All right. we take it to the kitchen. All right. And they use it. Yeah. Our kids are going to enjoy that. And then when these, these take about nine months to get to be about a pound, pound and a half. So at the end of May, we have a fish fry. Ooh, fish fry. Yeah, so we have about 60 oh. columbia on there right okay. now. Okay. Wait, I don't know much about that kind of a fish. Uh, can you tell me, like, is that a common fish here in Wisconsin? Is it? No, it's actually been specially bred to um, to thrive in a recirculating tank like this okay. at, at high um, densities. Got so, it. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Um, all right. And I uh, hear that we also have a greenhouse here at uh, West End. And, and you want to tell us a little bit about the, the greenhouse? Sure. Um, the greenhouse actually has a dual purpose, okay. um, which we discovered last year when we had 28 lambs. There were several ewes that had quadruplets, and they just weren't able to take care of them, feed them naturally. Okay. So we made half of the 
greenhouse into a land barn for a couple months. And then um, we actually have, by the time they were big enough to get out of there, we were putting plants in there for our annual greenhouse plant sale. So we have a greenhouse plant, or er, greenhouse class. Kids um, can plant all the seeds, and they take care of all the the plants, and then make hanging baskets, and then we have a sale in the spring. Wow. So when is this? Uh, you said the spring is at what month? Do we normally have the? Uh, the first Saturday of May is usually when we have the sale. All right. So get out and buy some plants from Weston. We mm -hmm. do, and, and we use that to put back into the program. Right. Awesome. Well, that's fantastic. Um, th so much, I really have learned a lot about um, all of the wonderful programs that you've established here at Weston. And um, we are super, super, super lucky to have Mrs. Osborne here at Weston. We're um, amazed, I'm amazed at the, the programs that you've sustained and have gotten the kids involved with. Because when it comes down to it, it's about um, our kids and getting our kids to learn. And then hopefully they can take that knowledge with them into the world. and. And we'll have um, many, 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 many more years of amazing um, agriculture and uh, horticulture and, and everything else. So thank you, Randy, for joining me today mm -hmm. on Walking the Halls of the Principal. Thank I like you. to end every episode with Soar Eagle Soar. Eagle Pride. Walking in the hall, walking in the hall. Gonna find out about someone new today. Finding out something about that friend. Gonna learn something new today. Here at Weston, Weston Elementary, Weston Elementary.